Bulletproof coffee. Sounds pretty cool, but <laughs> what's the point? Before we get to the video, I have an announcement. My publisher, Harvest House, has offered my first two books, Overcoming Runaway Blood Sugar and 60 Ways to Lower Your Blood Sugar, at a huge discount when you buy them electronically. Normally you can download these books for 9 or 10 US dollars, but throughout the month of March 2019, they may be purchased for about $2 each. So if you're in a position to download ebooks to your computer, phone, or tablet, here's a great chance to get my books for very little money. The links to where you can get these books, including on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Google Play, are in the description notes below. It's morning here in Texas, and I'm home alone. Benedict is in Uganda preparing and organizing things for our next mission trip. So I'm sitting here with my cup of bulletproof coffee. If you watch a lot of videos about keto and intermittent fasting, you're certain to run across the concept of bulletproof coffee. Now, I haven't been drinking it all that long, but I kept hearing about it and hearing about it until at last my curiosity got the best of me. So let's talk a few minutes about this strange concoction. First, you may wonder, where did this coffee get its name and is it really bulletproof? Well, I have no idea where it gets its name, and I'm not sure whether the name means that the coffee itself is bulletproof or whether when we drink it, it will make us bulletproof. But it sounds like a very macho coffee. So what exactly is it, and what's the point of drinking it? First, a lot of our concepts and labels that are connected with keto, intermittent fasting, and low-carb lifestyle are open to interpretation, and they can have different definitions depending on whom you listen to. Basically, bulletproof coffee refers to coffee that normally will have a nice dose of fat in it, typically butter or MCT oil or both. But it can also have heavy whipping cream or you could make it with coconut oil or blend several of these ingredients together. Really, the only ingredients that are indispensable are coffee and some type of fat mixed in the coffee. Don't let anybody tell you that there's only one kind of official bulletproof coffee. Like so many other diet-related concepts, there's more than one possibility. So how do I make my version of Bulletproof Coffee? I put three ingredients in a large mug. One tablespoon of coconut oil, two or three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and about two tablespoons of butter. Now that, my friends, is a lot of fat. Since the butter and the coconut oil are in solid form, I heat them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. This turns them into liquid, and then I add water to fill the mug to the desired level. And I heat the entire mixture in the microwave for as long as it takes to make me a cup of coffee at the temperature I like it. And in my microwave, that means about 1 minute 50 seconds. After I bring the mug out of the microwave, the mixture is bubbling as though it's about to explode. And when I first did this and mixed in my instant coffee, immediately after the microwave, I did get a little miniature explosion and some of the coffee came foaming out of the mug. Now I've learned to wait a few seconds and stir the mixture first before adding the instant coffee. Once the coffee is thoroughly stirred, I now have the official Dennis Pollock version of Bulletproof Coffee. So that's the how. Now let's get to the why. <laughs> What's the point of it all? Why is this coffee superior or is it superior to regular coffee? The reason bulletproof coffee has become popular with the keto crowd is twofold. First, people on keto are always wanting to up the fat content in their diet. Most keto dieters are trying to maintain a diet of about 70% fat, which is a lot of fat. So, they're looking for all kinds of ways to eat and drink fat. And in this cup of coffee, you're definitely getting quite a bit of fat in a single cup of coffee. The second reason people seem to drink this is in connection with intermittent fasting. When we think about fasting, we often think about going without any food or any nutrition at all during our fasting. None. Zero. Zip. But that's a very difficult thing to do physically and, more importantly, psychologically. So people will often allow themselves certain food substances to give them a little strength while they're skipping their meals. 
Bone broth is one example of a food that many keto experts suggest as being okay during a fast, and bulletproof coffee is another. I have to admit, I was a little skeptical when I first heard about it. It sounded kind of gimmicky to me, and it seemed sort of silly. But finally, I had to try it. And lo and behold, I liked it. <laughs> Let me make a confession here. I know it's considered manly by some for macho men to drink black coffee. None of this cream or sugar for me. Do you suppose that John Wayne, the Duke, added sugar to his coffee? Surely not. But somehow, I just never liked black coffee. It tastes bitter, and I find no pleasure in it other than the coffee buzz I get after drinking it. So I've always drunk my coffee with cream. Before my blood sugar problems, I had cream and sugar, and afterwards, I normally drink it with cream and stevia or some other kind of non-sugar sweetener. A lot of times I'll use, in fact, most times I'll use a sugar-free syrup to put in my coffee with my cream. But when I tasted bulletproof coffee, I found that I enjoyed it even without any sweetener at all. All that fat in the coffee made up for the lack of sweetener, and drinking it seemed to give me a very nice coffee buzz and even a fat buzz. The fat in the coffee leaves you feeling very satisfied, and somehow the coffee seems to be a little meal all by itself. Whether drinking bulletproof coffee has any physical benefits, I'm not so sure, but I do believe it has some definite psychological benefits, at least for me and probably for many others. When I first started hearing about intermittent fasting, it didn't take long for me to become convinced that this could be a pretty important tool in cutting glucose levels and reducing insulin resistance. I didn't feel I needed to do it a lot because my blood sugar was already pretty well under control. But I thought one very simple form of intermittent fasting I could easily do would be to skip a couple of breakfasts each week and wait until around 12.30 or 1 p.m. to eat my first meal. But at first I was resistant to actually doing this because it's been my routine for years to eat breakfast with my wife and watch a morning news program to see what's happening in our nation and in our world. And I've really enjoyed these breakfast times while watching the Today Show usually. My day's usually pretty busy, so to take a relaxing hour or so and eat a leisurely breakfast while watching the news is kind of relaxing for me. So the thought of just giving that up and going straight to work without any relaxing breakfast time did not appeal to me. And having black coffee while watching the news, well, that didn't seem all that appealing either. But after learning about bulletproof coffee and trying it, I found that the smoothness and the satiating ability of the coffee sort of made up for not having a real breakfast. And I found I could enjoy my mornings without feeling too deprived. And this has made it easier for me to stick to my intermittent fasting and these no breakfast mornings. So whether or not the butter and the coconut oil in the coffee is really doing me much good physically, if it enables me to do a little more intermittent fasting cheerfully and keep with it, well, that's no small benefit. The question is, does butter coffee, which is my name for it, raise blood sugar or will it throw you out of ketosis? There's a nutritionist on YouTube that I really like named Becky Gillespie who did a series of experiments with her husband on various additives to coffee such as butter and MCT oil to determine just these questions. From her tests, it demonstrated that various forms of bulletproof coffee neither raise blood sugar nor put you out of ketosis. I'll put a link in the description notes below to that video. Now, I've never tested myself for ketones, so I can't address that personally, but we can do a couple of blood sugar tests this morning. Before I drank my coffee, my blood sugar was at 95. And after finishing this coffee, I'll test myself at 30 minutes and then one hour and get back to you. For now, I'm going to go watch the Today Show. Okay, I've done my 30 minute and one hour post test after having a breakfast of bulletproof coffee with my three added ingredients of butter, coconut oil, and heavy whipping cream. With all that fat, I doubted there would be much rise at all, but I was a little surprised. 
Before the coffee, I was at 95. 30 minutes after drinking the coffee, I measured 102, which was seven points higher. Now, that's not much, but I wasn't really expecting it to rise at all. By one hour after the coffee, my blood sugar had gone back down to 95 once again. So, a pretty scrawny rise, but a rise nonetheless. So, which was the culprit that raised it those seven points? Was it the cream, the coconut oil, the butter, or the coffee itself? Short answer? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm not too worried about a seven-point rise. And it was nice to see that by one hour I was back to my starting point and my blood sugar was in the 90s. How will it work for you? Well, give it a try. Test yourself and see. You might want to consider skipping a few breakfasts each week and drinking some butter coffee instead. And it really, really does taste much better than it seems like it would. Well, that's it. Nothing too profound this week, but any way you can increase your intermittent fasting, if your doctors tell you that you're able to do it, is a plus. And starting with skipping a few breakfasts here and there is a nice, gentle way to get into it. And another important ingredient is to stop all that snacking. <laughs> if you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and then clicking the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we post a new video. God bless and see you again soon.